Hello everyone. I sometimes get some of the messages from you which has nothing to do with tarot reading, but whenever I see some interesting question, I love to address those questions. And today's question was, does women lose value as they age? Now, I would not I'm not going to reveal my age here, but I want to share the insight of this topic. So value by definition means the regards that something is held to deserve the importance, worth or usefulness of something. So does women lose their usefulness as they age? For a moment, so when we ask this kind of question, we usually want to know, <laughs> by definition, we actually want to know is does women lose value in the eye of man as they age? Now, it depends on the man and what the particular man values. So, a, if a man values certain things in a woman, uh, they value her. So, if the, his value depends on what that woman looks like and what what uh, uh, if she's youthful enough, if she is young enough, then yes, that woman would lose value in the eye of a man. But um, does she lose value as the age uh, uh, doesn't make any sense if you are talking about other areas of your life? Um, first, let's stop identifying ourselves with our gender. Um, I'm talking about cis woman or if you're a trans woman, um, mostly cis woman, of course. So let's just forget you're a woman and let's think about the humanity in, in general. You will be useful to someone, therefore you will have your value when you can offer something to a person who needs what you're offering. So if um, someone needs what you're offering then definitely you're very valuable to them so if someone values good conversation you will have so much value in his eyes if someone values an extremely tall woman the, if you're uh, four feet eleven then definitely you do not have any value in his eyes if someone wants to um, uh, use certain product that you make then of course your value is way higher to a person who wants to buy those products um, compared to the one who has nothing to do with the products you make. So does women lose the, their value as they age? No. It depends on what you are offering and what you're offering. Does it matter to the person you are offering this to? But the problem is we usually wants other people to decide our value. Now, if you let other people decide your value, they would put all kind of standards for you. They would make you do things that you're not even comfortable with. For example, I've seen people saying to their wives, uh, even to their husbands, uh, even I have seen ladies telling their husband to dress this way, lose this kind of weight, dye your hair in a certain way. Therefore, even women sometimes put values on men. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, if you let other people decide your value, it is a very good recipe of um, disappointment. Because, yes, there will be people who would value you for one thing and, and wouldn't value you for another thing. Uh, you can't have anyone who, who values every single thing about you. Um, in terms of marriage, of course, I have seen men who prefer younger women. It's not always because he doesn't find older women attractive. It's because society tells him he should value younger women over older women. Uh, part of the reason is people get married because of the, you know, for of their biology mostly and they want to do it in a sane way so they usually um sane way as in they do not want to keep spreading their seed all over the world therefore they want to do it with one monogamous relationship and if they want to have a child and if they want to have numerous amount of child the chances are 
marrying a younger woman would be way better for better option for them. Therefore, the value of a younger woman is way higher for him compared to the value of a woman who's much younger or older than him. Because, for example, if you're 45 and your partner is 50, he would like to go for a lady who can give him more child. It could be, you know, a 29 year old, 20, 30 year old, 35 year old woman. Uh, is it fair? No. Is it a good thing to do? Uh, honestly speaking, when you're 50, your sperm quality is, is not really that good. Uh, so having children at 50, no, it's, it's honestly not a good thing to do. Just because you can do something doesn't necessarily mean you should do it. For example, I can eat um, five pounds of meat uh, and I can eat McDonald food in, a, in each and every meal, but I wouldn't do that. Why? I can do it. I, I can afford to do it. I can eat those things, but I wouldn't do it. Just because you can do something doesn't necessarily mean you should do it. Uh, therefore, bringing a child in the world is a huge responsibility. And you need to think about the future. You need to do some kind of estimation of the future when you bring a child. So is it good for a man to <laughs> marry a much younger woman just to have children? He might well end up leaving all the... Mm, uh, responsibility of that young woman and die much much earlier than the woman uh, who he married so unfortunately the reality is um, if your value depends on how a man sees you yes you lose value as you age regardless of your age but if your value depends on how you see yourself how and if you decide to um, value, create more values for the society, then you will be valuable to the world till you die. So rather than questioning these things to yourself, rather than saying to yourself, should, should people value me or am I valuable to people? The question you need to ask yourself, am I valuable to myself? Am I valuable for the less fortunate one? Can I contribute something to the society? Therefore, this would increase your value compared to just sticking with the idea of being valuable to the different gender. I hope the video has helped you. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.